Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again, back for another crafty video. So, this time I've got another thing I've been working on for you. So, this is just a little windowed wallet, slightly different sizes. That's because this is going to be a no measure. Okay, so what we've got here is you open it up and it's got a little cutout in the same shape as the window. Um, with a few things in there's just a little pocket in here and then on the back there's just somewhere there's a little tuck okay so this is this one is done with a flower shaped die and then this one is more of a classic um, window again little tuck some things inside that you can see through the window um, and then a little tuck on the back where you've got some other places to stick some stuff okay so it's really easy don't need a lot of card either so what i was trying to do is we're trying to come up with some way to use these so you know these the last few pages in a tim holtz pad if any of you have been trying to well you're probably not trying to use up your tim holtz because everybody hoards it um but you always come to these and then you think oh, i'm not sure what to do with these and um I, I use these for some I've used some of these for trying out new things or I've or I've tried to make something and I've scored it in the wrong place anyway so what I thought is what can I do to make something out of these so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece down and we're going to make this so you are going to need a piece of card to make the same size you're going to need a piece of card that's going to be 12 by 3 so really easy to do um on these because you literally just cut between the designs and they're already 12 inches high so, so there you go cut that design off and that's already three inches wide so we're going to use this piece let's pop that out of the way so stuff off my mat okay so what you want to do is initially if your paper has an orientation this one doesn't quite uh, well not not very visible orientation Whereas hopefully this might have a little bit more. Yeah, so the 45 is the right way up here. What you want to do is you want to have it so it's the wrong way up, okay, to be able to make this. And then when you fold, so let's do it so that we can see those. When you fold things over, that's the right way up. That's the right way up. The inside just isn't the right way up. So, But there's not a lot you can do about it. And also it doesn't really matter because it's the inside and nobody notices did you notice that when I opened it up? Did you go, oh, look at that, it's terrible. The inside is upside down. No, you didn't see it until I just told you. So, we're going to make this, and it's simple to do. Just You just need to kind of, you know, there's no measuring because there's other things you just need to be aware of. So, what I did do is um, I, I folded it up so it was about, so this bottom bit is about two and a half inches now uh, like i say it's about it doesn't have to be an exact so i could go on to my mat here and i could go one uh two and a half and fold it there or i could just go um let's make sure i get it the wrong way up i could go uh, i'm gonna fold about there that's fine yeah and then to put it down and fold it. Let's just get a bone folder to do that. And then the top bit, again, you're going to fold down. What you want to do is to have it so that it overlaps the bottom one. I'm going to fold it down to about there and put a crease in that. There we go. So that's, that's what our basic design is. So this is the bit where you just need to kind of pay attention a little bit. So I'm doing, using a die cutter to cut these out. So I've pulled out some dies. So I've used that one. I've used that one. Shall we use, let's use this one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have this so that it sits half on and half off the, well, not it doesn't have to be half, but it just needs to sit off the bottom flap. So the bottom flap for this at this moment in time is on the outside. It would normally be sitting on the inside. So this is the bottom. There's one with the shorter bit, and this is the top. So, you just need to flip it the other way around so that you can see the bottom sticking out over the top of the, the bottom, over the top of the bottom. 
this is when it gets confusing <laughs> and then you've got to think about where do I want to have my window okay so I'm gonna have my window starting about there um, so that it cuts a little bit out of the bottom bit and more out of the top now I think I know you're thinking well if I do that now it's just gonna cut all the way through yes it would but we're not gonna do that because I'm just gonna get some washi tape which I've got some here I'm just gonna line it up so that I kind of get it somewhere like in the middle so it's going to be there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach this only at the bottom okay I'll attach this only at the bottom okay and there we go that's what that's how our first cut so we're just going to cut that just get my plates set up pop that into there and then sandwich it it can make a sandwich what to do with that sandwich now so, and then pop that into there and I'm just going to forward and back it okay so let's move that out of the way because we're going to need that in a minute let's move the, the plates out of the way for a second so now we've done that okay what we're going to do is we're just going to undo this try and keep the die where it is okay without sorry try and keep the washi tape where it is without peeling it completely off but if you do and the die moves and everything so what you're trying to do is peel it away without moving the die but if it does move it's not a problem i'm going to deliberately move it so that you can see what i'm doing so take that off there so i can show you what to do if such things happen to me so that's the bottom bit that's going to be like this this is going to be the cutaway bit here so that's going to be sitting sitting at the bottom so now what you want to do is if you've peeled it completely off yeah um and the and now you're thinking how am i going to get that so that it sits exactly all you need to do is layer it the way that you did before and then just slot this back in so when you press down on this die you should kind of feel it kind of so hold the page down push the die push it down and you should kind of feel it engage and it'll not wiggle around quite as much now what you want to do is you want to take your washi tape and stick it to the top half Okay, then you can just slide this out from underneath there without moving the whole thing. So hold the die down while you're doing that. And there we go. You've got that top bit now. Now, before you cut it, what you will need is you'll just need another piece of um, cardboard. And I'm going to get a piece from here. And I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. Let's cut it with my cutter. And this is the bit that's going to sit on the back to cover your little window up. Cover the gubbins, gubbins of your window. So I'm just going to cut that down. Sorry, just bear with me a second while I cut this. Um, and we'll use that piece. Okay. Hopefully I've cut it the right width, the height, the width, whatever tight but it, it's fine so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open that up because that's the bit we're going to cut out and try not to move it too much and then place that underneath okay i'm just going to use the tiniest bit of washi tape to hold that i'm just going to have that underneath it make sure that it kind of sits in the middle of where that window is going to be and then i'm just going to hold that together with piece of washi tape now I'm going to stick it back on my plates like that get my die cutting machine out ready and just cut that out now okay I'm just going to move that to one side again I'm just going to take this off 
and as you know you've cut all the way through and you've got a piece so these pieces that you've cut off keep because they're the things that are going to form your tabs for the back and for the pocket so i'm just going to peel this off so just peel it gently because you've had it stuck to some paper or some card you don't want to peel the surface of the card off there we go do the same on that there we go move that out of the way put the washi tape together and then i'm just going to take these two pieces apart okay so now what we need to do is we need to put a window in okay so all I did was I cut this out so that this will sit on the back to cover up the the edges of the window stuff so what did I use for for the windows I all I did was I used a piece of um, the plastic that is in a bill envelope okay so let's just don't worry about me tearing all you thinking oh, you could use that for crafting i know and i have thousands of them because i keep them from work so and i will be doing a video of this so of making something with this so all i did was i just peeled this bit up off here so just do it gently because otherwise it will tear and then it might tear through the bit that you need i'm just peeling it up Once you kind of get going, it should then, if you hold it either side with your fingers, you should be able to tear it back on itself. There we go. I'll just tear that very end bit off. Okay, so this is all I did was I used this, this as the window. So then what I did, sorry, what I did was I took one of my little template things and I put that on and then I cut it so that it sticks out around the edges, not so you can cut it, so you cut it completely close to the thing, otherwise you've got no edges to glue down. And then... I don't want too much sticking out, especially because I don't have much spare on there. So I'm just going to cut that down with my extremely shaky hands. Okay, get those bits out of the way. Okay, so now what I did then was I took a piece, of, I took this piece of uh, paper and I got a piece of paper, which I think I've just thrown away. So uh, I'll just use an old envelope here. And then all I did was I just made it look a bit older, the the window thing. So I just took some of my alcohol inks and one of my daubers, my alcohol daubers, and I took, oh, just I've got them on a new spinny thing, and like it spins a bit quick sometimes. So, um, what have I got here? I'll go with this one. few dabs on there and then I just dabbed it onto here just to make it look a bit old basically like yellowed like cellophane does a bit like when I when I make um aged sellotape which I need to do that again I've run out of that so so you just need to make sure that that's nice and dry before you do anything with it. So I'm just going to waft it. Okay, before I use it, what I will do is I will now ink around my edges. So I'll pop that over there and I think I will get, yes, I will use one of my new ones. <gasps> this auspicious occasion, I'm opening a new, well, I would if I could get the thing out. This is not a blade. This is a ruler, but it, it's got a sharp edge, so. There we go. 
so a brand new vintage photo so remember dave it's brand new so it'll be all juicy so you don't have to squeeze into it like you normally do you don't have to squeeze into it like a pair of jeans <laughs> i'm just going to go around all of these these edges before i put this together now so make it nice and inky as we like you know do it as, as much as you like so if you're thinking this vintage photo looks a little bit like a cross between vintage photo and rusty hinge that's because rusty hinge is mostly on this from the last one i did so I'm squeezing into it and I don't need to, Dave. Stop doing that. Stop doing it, Dave. And then do the same for the window, but I'm going to go round the inside of the window as well. So Because that's what we do, don't we? We do these things. I'm going to go in inside as well. La, 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 la. <laughs> so I hope everybody is well. Hope you've uh, enjoying spring. If you, unless you're in, you know, the other hemisphere. I don't know which one it is. Southern hemisphere, um, where it's probably. What am I doing that one for? You're not going to see it. Um, <laughs> where you're moving into autumn now, aren't you? So if you're like in Australia or New Zealand, you're moving into the is it autumn for you guys moving into because as we move into spring you're going into autumn and as we go into summer you're going into winter although i believe that you don't have a, a, a like horrendous winters in australia although i know, could be wrong and often am I'm just going to go around the inside of the window as well. So this is really lovely because if you weren't inking, this would be really easy to do and very quick. And think of how many you could knock out for, you know, putting in some happy mail or just sending to a friend or just saying, this is because I like you or whatever so and if you do like me or you like my video then give it a thumbs up because that tells me you do so um and it tells youtube that you you do as well so uh, hint hint oh right the only thing i want to do is before i do this is oh no not before i do this i'm going to do it afterwards if i'm going to clip the corners but i'm going to do it afterwards because once you put the two layers together if if the if the bottom if the other layer comes down to the bottom here you can clip them both out at the same time so and we'll just go back in and just re-ink that bit if that's the case so now what you should find is they marry up perfectly which they do as it is designed that way i i am here to take the stress out for you so what i did was i used the side that i ink has got a little bit of a like a matte finish to it and the side and the outside is a bit more shiny but also it's smoother and it's not tacky so i put that on the outside and before i do that i'm going to glue it down dave because that's a sensible thing to do so i just put a tiny bit of glue a bead of glue around here if it comes out too much i would suggest you just go in with your finger and just get rid of extra smoosh it away from the window and that way then when you put this down it doesn't all squish into the window bit so you glue that bit down and then what you're going to do is you're going to glue this to that so we're going to put that on that way around or is it that way around well, Dave, you couldn't have got that. I mean, how much, how in the middle it could that possibly have been? Like that is exactly the same width that side as it is that side. I don't know how I managed to do that. I do that all the time, and then I think I'll 
it blows my mind how I managed to do that. It's like I can cut a piece of paper in half without measuring it. I don't know how I do it. People think it's witchcraft. <laughs> Not that anybody's tried to burn me at the steak. Ooh, steak. I just need a steak. I think I've talked about sandwiches and steak. Blimey, am I hungry by any chance? Must be. Must be thinking about food or think about food 24 7 days. So. Okay, so which way up? Let's try and put the birds the right way up then first. So I'm just going to put some glue around this window. Again, not too much so it smooshes out. Just so you've got a drizzle and then a bit more around the outside. I don't think this one comes right down to the edge, though. I don't think this needs to be clipped as a rounded ways. I'm going to pop that on there. Lay it down. Slightly hangs out there, but it doesn't matter because look, look, it looks like that. So, that's that. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip those corners. Don't clip the wings, Dave. Just clip the corners. Put that on there. Clip it. And clip that one. And then we'll just ink that corner as well. Okay, so now what you need to do is, this is going to be kind of moved, heading towards the finish line. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, but what we're going to do is we're going to glue this bottom bit down first. So just a tiny bit of glue on the edges here, like literally the tiniest, tiniest. Fold it over. And remember, like I always do, is I just bend it up a little bit so it creates that pucker of a pocket that way then you're not struggling to get anything in it press it down a bit there we go and you're going to fold it over and then we're going to use one of these pieces so you can either use this short piece i think i might use that short piece here or i might cut it down it depends on what what i want I might actually use the the birdie bit do I want the birdie bit or do I want just a piece of I think oh actually I like that I'm, right I'm just going to cut this in half well not even in half but just a bit off this one and I'm going to ink it this is the side I'm going to use the blue bit just ink it around the edges tiny bit of glue across the bottom here so on like the what's that quarter of an inch at the bottom pop that on there and then you just want to kind of get it somewhere in the middle kind of so it tucks the lid in and then just press it down Go. So now we've got our little tuck for tucking the lid in, and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the back. And the back, we're just going to use bits that we have. So remember, we've cut a few bits out anyway. So I think I'm just going to cut this around there. I'm going to which way around that way or that way, that way. around a bit of glue again on like the bottom quarter to half an inch on there. and then oh I might use that one this time on the top bit yep I will and then we're gonna glue that bit as well and that is basically it super simple see told you told you it's going to be simple no measuring perfect for all of those of you that don't like the measuring side of things so that's another one of those made so let's make another one shall we might as well that way then those people that are sat there going i didn't quite get that bit and then you'll be able to get it this time round. so let me lid on my glue first 
So remember, piece of card wants to be um, three inches by 12 inches. I mean that's to make it this size obviously if you want to make it any other size you do you can do what you like you can make it however big or small your little heart desires and remember if you if your paper is directional oh I don't know which one to have on the inside which to have on the outside I think I'll have that on the out on the inside so if your paper is directional um, flip it so that it's now upside down which it is and then flip the bottom up about two and a half inches but see no measuring and score that in and then flip the bottom uh, sorry flip the top half down to about there and score that in that's about four inches in fact it is four inches because that's a four inch panel because there's four eight twelve so um and then the outside sorry the bottom one on the outside for now and we will do do i have any other shapes dave do you have any other shapes to hand more to the point There might be a cut in this video right while I str struggle to find a die. I think we're going to use this. This is a new die, obviously. I've just had a oh, blimey food. All, all food. I've just had an Uber Eats message. So it's all to do with food, isn't it? Sandwiches and steak and Uber Eats. So I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to snip out what I need. So which size do I want? I don't know, it's making my eyes go funny. I feel like I'm going to be hypnotised. Fun fact, can't be hypnotised. Don't have a, um, an, I can't, don't have an imagination where somebody can say, say, imagine you are, because I can't imagine I am. So, like, imagine you're on a beach, or imagine you're, I can't, I don't, can't do that. So, when I close my eyes, I see nothing. So... Uh, so I'm just going to snip off these little bits here. Um, that's it. You bite that sellotape, Dave. Dead classy. So I just need somewhere to put the metal, the sharp metal bits that I snip off. Oh. Or not. Was they kind of indent into the paper? Can't even get hold of it like that. Break it off. There you go. Is that it? Oh, is there only one? Oh, there's one there, but I don't think I can get that off. It's going to stay on, so that just pinged off when I did that. There we go. So let's use this one. I think I'm going to do it like that. So again, just want to kind of get it in the middle. Use more washi tape. Get it somewhere in the middle. How do I want it? More like that, I think. So, you don't want a too intricate shape to start with. Well, to, to do this with. So it just makes it really so much harder for you to kind of line it all up. So if you do, if you make it too intricate, put this on my base plate. On that. Run that through. Don't you just love that? You know when you first when you first do 
die cutting as a paper crafter and it makes that cracking sounds like breaking noise and actually that's what you want because that's it doing its business and it, but it just makes you feel like oh, I've broken it <laughs> I love that I miss that I miss that whole journey of discovery so remember just take those off so you can try and see what I'm doing because I know it's very hard to see so if it if you get if it comes off just place it on press it down wiggle it until it doesn't wiggle anymore and then you've got it in that oh no we don't want it there we don't want to stick it down there we want to stick it at the top this time and that way then you've got it in the right place and you can flip that bit open yeah and now you can put another piece on the back of this piece all that go on there and still cover the die up it will do i need to cut a little bit off i don't think i do but i'll just take that very edge off so that's going to sit on the back there get the smallest bit of washi tape <laughs> let's use a piece off this dave so I don't know where that little bit has gone. And then the only reason why you're doing this on the back one is just to stop the back one from moving around. Put that, line them up together and then just stick the two pieces together. Like that. Stick that on the die cutter make your sandwich <gasps> steak sandwich from uber eats no let's see i'm combining it all now so all the way through and back move that out of the way i'll put this out all right peel this off gently that cut through it has good peel this off gently now a little bit out. Get that back piece off. Peel gently. There you go. Good. Okay, so I'm now I'm just going to ink it. Again, I think I might use. Hello, that's my swatch thing. Where's, where's my, where's that gone? Where's, where's my hinge gone? My hinge, I've lost my hinge. It's my marbles as well, so. Rusty hinge gone. Vintage photo, Dave. Right there. I'll use rusty hinge. So, again, this is a new one, Dave, so gently. rusty hinge. I, I love the colour of rust actually so don't like the smell of it though. So that's the good thing about these isn't it? Stop. It doesn't smell rusty. I mean like you know it doesn't it doesn't smell for any length of time but like you know when you get a bit close it's that irony smell. Same with blood. Blood smells like that although hopefully you're not <laughs> you're not sniffing blood so um and if you are, I don't want to know. And I, 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 I know nothing, Your Honour. So, I am innocent. So, just inking all the way around this. So, like I say, really simple, nice, easy thing to make. Not anything that's going to cause you any problems. And I, I know I said it's just a little bit more it's not complicated it's just you know you've just got to line things up and that's the reason why I wanted to take out the element of having to measure 
because that puts people off. They've got to measure and then they've got to do something a bit more faffy. They've got to faff around. Around the inside. Don't need to go all the way down so I can see it all. Across that top edge. So, yeah. So I try. I do try to... I mean, this is another thing. I was lying in bed last night. <laughs> So thinking, oh, I wonder if I could, and then like my brain wants says, why don't you go and do it? And I, I had to resist and say, no, look, Dave, just go to sleep, and then you can worry about that later. You can give it a go in the morning, which I, I did. So spent this morning doing a few bits of prep over things, so what I was going to make and all of that, and then I spent the the one I'm going to put on the back, isn't it? So, I spent the I spent the afternoon making videos. So, and that's where I am now. So, that's going to go that way around. So we're going to put ink around that on the edge of there. I'll get another piece of well, another envelope. I mean, you could use anything. You could use, you know, vellum or. Um, tissue paper or you know the glassine that you get in the glassine bag of the, they make glassine bags out of or you know you, that some of that um faux glassine that i've made i need to make some more of that i said about the sellotape i need to make some more faux glassine um as well because there's a few things i want to and i always think should i do that on video i know i've done it before but you know there are new people watching me, and I don't think all new people go back and have a look at my back catalogue. So, I mean, there are, I don't blame you to be fair, there are like over 500 videos. So, that one needs to be wider. So, I get one with a bigger window. Some of them have a slightly bigger window. And, oh, that, that might be a slightly deeper window. Oh, there you go, perfect. I'm just going to cut this one out this time. Or not. I just think it's a great way to use all of the windows. Because if you do tea dye your windows, uh, tea, tea dye your envelopes, or coffee dye them, and you dry them... I was going to say unnaturally, I don't mean unnaturally, <laughs> in an unnatural way. No, um, if you dry them in an oven or something, it's all because this is plastic, this just melts, so um, it's a great way to use it and, and not lose it. So I'm just going to... It's it's my lick, it's my, my project, so I'm just going to rub that bit away to make it... Um, Mm. So I don't lick the the uh, paper. Ugh. So that just makes it that little bit wider, which means that when I put that on there, yep, that's fine. Yep. So let's use the thing that I've just used. It's going to be this way around, so it's inky pinky. No, I don't use pinky. Perky. No perkies were injured in the making of this video. Oh, don't spill it. one's going to be a bit darker. I do like a dark colour of this. Personally, anyway. And I like the way it pulls. As well. So, like little cells. Pop that on there. Put that over there. Okay, put that to one side. Oh, if it, I should have done that while I was inking this. 
So let's just make sure that that's going to fit. So that's going to go that way round. Yep. That's going to go there. Okay. So we'll ink this down while we're waiting for that stuff to dry. Not, not glue. What's it called, Dave? Ink. The uh, alcohol ink. So this coming weekend, I will be doing a video that will be loaded on Sunday, um, and that's for my participation in the Gives a Scrap thing. Um, hop, that is uh, Angela from Travelling Crafters concept. So I shall be partaking in that um, and you'll be able to catch me making something so I should be using scrap which to be fair basically is what I, I do all the time so I'm using scrap from an envelope at the minute so um, so it's right on my straight to be fair I'm just gonna trim that down a little bit on this side don't need that now, Dave. Lose that for a minute. And trim this side down as well because it's just got a bit of raw paper sticking over the edge. Yeah, so I shall be partaking in that. Um, doing something a little bit different, hopefully. Well, I haven't actually done any practice for it, so um, hopefully it'll be something a bit different because if not it might be something you've seen before um but it's a, something a bit new if it works out so let's just do that put a bit more of that around the edge as well line that on there cool and then that is going to go on there is indeed. I'm just going to glue this one down. Glue it onto that. So it lines up with the other window. Down. Probably should wait until it's dry before I round the corners, but since when have I ever listened to my own advice? Oh, that didn't go very well, did it? Give it all in properly, Dave. That's right. Oh, now you've completely mashed it, so. It'll just shape that a little bit. That's all right. It's fine. So let's get rid of the bits of cellophane out of the way. So that's going to go tucked into the little tuck that we're going to make now. So where are the bits that came out of it? That's it. Let's use that piece, shall we? And we'll do it that way up so if I just cut down the middle oh do I want to cut down the middle no I'm just going to cut over the over the middle I'm going to ink it glue it bop it spin it no have you ever tried playing one of those things I don't know I can't remember what it's called I think it's called bop it um, it's very annoying. We used to have to do it as part of a team working exercise with somewhere where I used to work and everybody hated doing it. So <laughs> and it always, um, I struggled with it myself. So because I'm not very good coordination wise, not very good. So I always felt like it was, <laughs> it was a thing designed to 
trip me up, make me look like a complete idiot. So, all those in day mode, so. Let's throw that down. Pop that on the top there. Might use the bird, even though it's going to be up the wrong way. Or shall, yeah, no, I'll use the bird. Um, yeah, it's better. It's, it's more interesting than the other side. Ink, sorry, glue across the bottom. Smoosh it out. And pop that on there, like so. And there we go. Another one made. So there you go. That's another one. So um, turned into a bit of a production line. And if you think the backs of those, you can make four out of the uh, Tim. Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to do this. So if you have one of these. You can make four. From the strips, um, and you can use them. The, these ones are the f the ones that are uh, three by three. You can use the ones that are three by four. You can use the full sheet paint ones. You can use the six inch ones. You know, that are four on a sheet. So they're just fun and interesting. And you could always put a a hole in the top and turn it into like a tag. Um, like I say, the, the there's lots of things that you could do. It's very versatile. And um, I'm really chuffed to be sharing it with you. That's, it's great sometimes when I have a, a restless night because I come up with some good good ideas. Either when I'm having a restless night or when I've got a migraine is when I come out with my best ideas. So um, it's win-win for you guys. <laughs> so there we go. So why don't you... Why don't you... Give them a go. How beautiful are they? So, and the beauty of it is they're not all going to be exactly the same because you're not measuring, you're guesstimating. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you know what you need to do. You need to give this um, video a thumbs up. You need to, you know, comment if you feel if feel able to you know don't don't worry if you don't feel able to that's fine just give it a like anyway don't forget to like it because lots of people scroll away and forget to like it so don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe and i will see you all in the next video so don't forget i love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to so don't give me a reason not to and like the video all right then folks take care i love you loads Mwah, mwah, mwah. Big hugs. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.